This is one of the uh, very common Chinese 40 watt laser engravers. Um, they will do cutting. Um, and I picked this up used off eBay. Um, someone had used it, they said, for a day and obviously was struggling to uh, get it running. I'm usually quite pleasantly surprised by um, Chinese equipment but these are apparently built for the hobby market in China and the build quality is quite frankly horrible. Having said that, um, for the money they still make a good basis of getting yourself uh, a laser machine. But I've done quite a lot of work on this and I thought I'd show you some of the upgrades that I've made. And the first one is the mountings for the laser tube. So you can see there an aluminium block and a strap over the top. And these are in fact the original as supplied items. Um, now normally they, uh, the tube is wrapped in a piece of foam rubber material and then a load of um, insulating tape and the alloy block is screwed um, down to the bottom of, of the case. The bolt comes up from underneath and these brackets are very crudely formed. And one of the issues was that the output of the laser tube was not on the correct centre height uh, for the first mirror. And various people have done uh, tube holders and, you know, that can be downloaded off um, Thingiverse, for example, and 3D printed. And I looked at a couple of them, and none of them actually fitted this particular model. Um, so what I've ended up doing is using the original aluminium block. And if I get in close here, I'll see if I can describe what's going on. The top of the screw there, you can see you can see that the block is sitting off the base of the cabinet. Now that screw is a longer screw than original and has a spring under its head on the other side. Now this piece of 3mm studding then screws through the bottom of the block and jacks it off the floor of the cabinet and that sets the um, height adjustment um, for the tube and then having reshaped the strap that is then sprung loaded down on the top of the stud and you can see there's a little bit of um, foam tape in there supporting the tube and that arrangement is repeated on the other tube mount I've done very simple little upgrades like uh, actually putting rubber grommets where the tubing goes through the cabinet. Um, this mirror mount was simply taken out, uh, cleaned up and reinstalled with um, better quality mounting hardware. I took out the um, extractor duct, which unfortunately on this machine was held in with screws rather than being spot welded as I've seen on other versions. And if we go around to the front of the machine, the mounting for the second mirror um, was an appalling bent tin bracket and you can see that the mirror is quite closely aligned um, with its back plate whereas um, the machine actually came with that mirror at a quite a large angle in order to get beam alignment right so I replaced 
um, the stepper motor mounting screws with standoff pillars, bolted a plate on top which is slotted for fore and aft adjustment, and then there's a, another plate which is slotted for adjustment in the, uh, the X plane, um, and then there's a little space between them to get the, um, the beam height right. The final mounting plate is currently pretty much as original, um, but does need modifying to allow the um, angle um, to be adjusted because the beam is not quite perfectly vertical at the moment. It's usable but uh, not particularly good. The um, platform which holds the spring-loaded clamp for um, engraving rubber blocks, which was the original purpose of this design, um, like everybody else, has, has been disposed of. Um, and I found that this one inch um, mesh fitted in very nicely. Um, and it, at the moment it has a rather crude um, standoff system. This is just 25 millimeter electrical conduit. Um, but has put the platform at pretty much the right height. I'll make an adjustable setup later so that you can get the, uh, the focus height right for um, different thickness materials. As standard, these machines don't have an interlock um, for the laser on the lid. So I've added in a uh, reed relay I had um, lying around. And that is currently triggered by this neodymium magnet, you can see just there, salvaged from a um, hard disk drive, and that's at the moment just attached by its own magnetism to the lid. That'll get a little um, mount made up later. And apart from that, it's all pretty standard. I've had all the panels and wiring out and, and clean things up in here. Um, all the um, the outlet sockets at the back which were sort of nasty universal adapters and I um, has been removed for the moment and the uh, twisted wire joints um, patched over and down in here is the nasty Chinese controller which interfaces with um, the Corel laser plug-in and uh, that is all functional at the moment but locks you into using Corel um, and really we want it operating off uh, G-code so the plan is to Installed an Arduino with a CNC shield and uh, running garble. So that'll be the, one of the next things to go on. And just there is one of the mirrors, which you can see has a scratch on it, which was unfortunately caused by me um, whilst cleaning it. The, um, all the mirrors in it were, were contaminated with um, adhesive from the back of the um, masking tape used for test firing and aligning the laser. Um, and whilst the others cleaned up okay, I scratched that one, but I got in a pair of replacement mirrors for £8 delivered. You can see some of the bits of cardboard and post-it notes I used for the test firing. And I'm just going to show you a couple of um, aids I made up um, which helped me um, get the mirror alignment set up quite quickly. I folded up a bit of, um, I think this is 6 thou brass shim material so that it slides nicely over the, uh, the mirror and I can then Stick a post-it note onto the front there and do the test firings and um, 
I'm not getting any um, adhesive off the back of the, the post-it note or any other material I choose to use contaminating the mirror and likewise on the final mirror I just have a piece of shim pinched together with a um, crocodile clip and once I've retrieved it that simply slides over and again I can stick a, uh, a post-it note on there and uh, that meant that it didn't take me um, more than about an hour total to get uh, um, at least a first pass usable alignment done.